Hi students, we're going to be learning about pendulums for lesson 11. A pendulum is a weight suspended from a fixed point that can freely swing. Just like this, you might see them on grandfather clocks or even like some carnival rides kind of function like a pendulum or think about a swing at the park. So when we talk about a pendulum, again, remember it is suspended from a fixed point and it's able to freely swing. The way that we define um, the period of a pendulum is the time that it takes for it to complete one swing. One swing is defined the time it takes for it to go away from you and to come back. So the away and back is how you would describe the period of a pendulum or how many seconds it takes for that to happen. So if we were counting the number of swings of a pendulum, a swing is from here to here. That counts as one swing. So for instance, one swing, two swings, three swings. Mr. Bingaman is going to show you a little bit about how to set up your lab. It's easy enough to tie and untie the washers. All we need to do is slide that loop through the hole and then slide the washer through the loop. We end up with what's called a lark's head knot around the, the washer. We don't have to cut, we don't have to change anything about the string to get that on and off. We need to add more washers. It is a simple matter of just stacking the washers together. Slide the strings loop through the hole of the washers and then slide the washers through the loop in the string. During this lab, you need to be able to calculate the period of a pendulum. Remember that the period of a pendulum is the time that it takes for the pendulum to complete one cycle or one full swing. So the period of a pendulum is the time that the pendulum was swinging divided by the number of swings. So for instance, if you time the pendulum for 30 seconds, and then you the you got, let's say, 15 swings. That means that the period of your pendulum is 30 divided by 15, which is going to be two seconds. And that is how you would be able to calculate the period of a pendulum. For this lab, it's probably best for you to work independently or maybe with one partner. Having a group of three or four students is probably too many cooks in the kitchen to do this lab. There's inevitably going to be students that are doing nothing if you have three or four people in a group. So we really recommend you working in maybe one by yourself or with a partner. And we have plenty of lab setups available for you.